Hey, happy Friday, everybody. It's Renee Prasad with Grand Explorations, and I am uh, here to talk to you more about my Best of Southern Spain trip. I posted a little teaser video last week, Friday, and asked for questions for people um, that we could answer during this, this longer Facebook Live today. Uh, the trip is this coming May. It's May 23rd through May 30th, and it's gonna start in Madrid, we head to uh, Granada, Sevilla, Cordoba, Cordoba, Valencia, and it ends in Barcelona. And um, I'm actually going to bring back on Lalo, who is, um, he is a, a um, oops, sorry about the finger in the camera. Uh, so Lalo is a GeoVenture CEO, their chief experience officer. Uh, and here he is uh, with Devin, and Devin works for GeoVentures. Um, so Devin and Lalo are going to answer questions about uh, the Spain trip. Um, so hey guys, how are you? Hey, hello, Renee. hello. Um, good. Thanks. Good, good. Thanks for joining me on this Friday to answer questions about this trip. So if you don't mind, can you both just give a real quick introduction about and tell everybody who you are? Um, so I'm Devin. I am a GPS, as we call it here at G Adventures, um, the sales manager. So I work with Renee and all the travel agents in the New England region putting together G Adventures trips. Perfect. Um, I'm Lalo Garcia. I'm a CEO that works for G Adventures. And I run tours around Spain and all around Europe. And I've been working more than three years doing different tours. Awesome. And so Lalo actually does, he hosts this exact tour that I'm doing in May. So he's the perfect person to answer questions about the trip. Um, an expert. <laughs> yes, which I love. Um, so Lalo, I had um, some questions from people. Uh, we can just start with that. And if anybody has questions in the meantime, feel free to uh, type them into the comment field. Um, but w some things that uh, people have been wondering is, you know, from your experience as a tour guide and leading this exact trip, what are some of the highlights of this particular trip? Okay. Uh, this trip is, in my opinion, is one, one of the best trips that you can do it in Spain. Uh, why? Because you, get, you visit one of the most incredible places. I don't know, actually, you know, that uh, 2017, Spain was the second most visited country in the world. And also, if you are uh, planning to do this trip in, in the spring, it's uh, the perfect day because it's not too cold, it's not too hot. I think that is the perfect time. About the, the places, the trip starts in Madrid, then is the capital. And over there, I always uh, bring my groups, you know, to a local dinner and also to try some uh, Spanish churros with chocolate. Okay. Uh, Yum. Really <laughs> uh, the next day, we're going to, to Granada, then it's an amazing place. Actually, you can read it, something about it because uh, the ex-president, the ex-American uh, president, Bill Clinton, he fell in love with the city. He came several times. And over there, you, we have like a, a private visit to the Alhambra that is uh, a Morris Palace that is incredible. For me, it's, you know, it's one of these places that I, I fell in love. After that, uh, also uh, we went to Sevilla. That is a wonderful city. The cathedral is incredible. Also, you have the, the, the Alcázar. That is one of the places that uh, the fifth season of Game of Thrones was filmed. Uh, mm. Also, you can visit Plaza España. That was uh, Star Wars 2 was filmed also over there. Uh, you know, you can walk uh, around the river during the night. It's a great place to see the sunset. It's an uh, incredible place. After that, uh, you're going to spend, gonna spend yeah, half a day in Córdoba to visit uh, this, uh, the mixed culture that are in the old city, Jewish, uh, Morris, Christian, and visit the mosque. I'm going to finish the day in, in Valencia. Valencia, the best place to eat paella. You know this uh, famous Spanish uh, rice dish? This is the place to eat it. And, <laughs> and the day after, we're going to, to Barcelona. What we can say, you know, a multicultural city with plenty of things to do, and also to visit Sagrada Familia, that is the the chart, the Dan Gaudí, the famous architecture world, and plenty of things to do. As I said, you know, it's like this trip, you, you visit almost, you know, the high, all the highlights of Spain, in my opinion. 
Yeah, I'm really excited about this trip. So, um, okay, so thank you for that. Um, you touched on my next question a little bit, but um, uh, there have been several people that have been asking me to, to tell them more about the food and the iconic Spanish food. So you mentioned the chocolate dip churros, which I am <laughs> all about that. <laughs> so what are some other iconic foods of Spain that we can try while we're on this particular trip? Okay. Uh, the food is one of the main reasons why the people uh, visit Spain. Uh, it's famous all around the world. Uh, when you come over there, I can explain you what exactly means the tapas, where this come from, because tapas is more like a, a way of eating. It's a way to, you know, share food and in one uh, lunch, in one dinner, try many different dishes. Uh, you know, are really famous the, the fish, the seafood, the jamón, that is just the, the Spanish ham, <laughs> you know, like the, uh, in my opinion, better than the Italian prosciutto. Uh, uh, <laughs> that sounds like fighting words. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but in a good way. No, we have many, many things. Spanish are better in pasta, but there are some things that I think that the Spanish are a bit better. Anyway, also, uh, Spain is famous also for the, for the wine, okay? The, like, uh, there are uh, two main uh, red wines that are uh, Rioja and Ribera del Duero, and also there are uh, some white wines, really good from Galicia, that are Albariño and Ribeiro. And also for the ones that like it brandy in the south, uh, Jerez is also really nice. And one of the, the things that I make sure in all my trips is that my passengers, if they want, try all the local things, drinks, food, and also, you know, do like a, a unique experience. Perfect. Yeah, I love trying local food wherever I go. So that's good to hear. Um... Okay, and so another question that a lot of people have is um, if they haven't done a group trip before, they're kind of concerned about what that experience is like. I think they envision being jammed on a bus with 50 other people and driving past things in long days and, and not being relaxed at all. So can um, either one of you tell us a little bit more what exactly is a G-Adventures tour like, and how is it different from some other trips? Okay. I go? Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think that is, I worked already with other companies, and travel with G-Adventures is totally different, okay? Because our groups are really small. It's not like uh, travel like in a typical bus with uh, 45, 50 people. We here, we travel like uh, in local transport, and small groups between 12 to 15 people. You know, like we do, like the locals, like a family, like a, a group of friends. Also, every day we're going to do things together, and every day the passenger is going to have free time. But at the same time, if one day you don't, you, you know, maybe the last night you stay until long and you want to sleep and you don't want to join the group, it's fine, you can stay at bed. If one day you prefer, you know, going to a museum, someone prefer going shopping, someone prefer going dinner by the road, it's in the adventure trips we are uh, really flexible. You know, I always tell to the passengers, okay. I'm going to meet you at this time, at this place. If you want to join, good. If you don't want to join, let me know. This way, you're going to be really free. But finally, you know, everyone liked the, the rhythm that I put, or the, the CEOs, we put it in the, in the trips. That is just uh, things in group and activities uh, by your own. So I say no, no pressure about, you know, because this is not like a typical uh, group trip. It's something that, you know, to enjoy, meet people similar like you, I also have, have time for your own. Yeah, and like, one of the highlights is having a CEO like Lalo show you around. He's going to tell you, you know, what food you should try, what the local drinks are, you know, the local places to eat. So just having that local knowledge is going to add so much to the trip. Exactly. Yeah, and well, and I've done several G Adventures trips, so I I know <laughs> how great they are personally. Um, but the group aspect too is also great for solo travelers. There are actually a few solo travelers that are signed up for this trip already. And it's nice as a, you know, going somewhere by yourself that you don't have to worry about being by yourself if you don't want to. You've got this kind of group that, that will kind of, yeah. you can hang out with. So, and you know, Perfect. you want to meet travelers really, you know, uh, like you. And usually, you know, I have uh, people that the next year they travel together or people that, you know, that get like a really good friends in, in the trips. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I, can you talk a little bit about the, um, 
the Planetara experience on this trip? Like what Planetara is and what the experience is? Okay, uh, Planetara is a, a foundation, an NGO than, uh, from the adventure. Then the idea is just uh, in the uh, tourist uh, world, we get at many, many things from the places that we work. And the idea that the adventure has uh, is just giving something back to these communities and to these countries. In, in Spain this year, we started uh, our first uh, project, it's in Barcelona. Uh, and it's a cooking class where our passengers go over there. We like, uh, like cook uh, typical Spanish food and after we have uh, this for dinner. And it's a great experience, you know, first because, you know, you know how to cook uh, Spanish food. Second, uh, because you're going to try it. And third, you are helping, you know, the, the local community in, in the social way. Right. Okay. These are sustainable community projects that you'll see all around the world throughout different G-Adventures itineraries. So they're all different, um, but they're all aimed at kind of really the heart of the community that you're visiting and kind of giving back while still having a good time. All right, great. Yeah, I love that. Uh, kind of, uh, ex I think that gives things a real local feel also to really experience yeah. local life. Exactly. So. Okay, um, I think that's it for questions. Anything else that you think is important for people to know, or do we cover it all? Uh, maybe. It all Go ahead. Yeah, more or less than I also said already. I think that uh, if someone is thinking about it to do this trip, uh, seriously, go on it. You're gonna love it. It's it's amazing. And a couple of advices. Uh, you're gonna do the trip in May. The weather is going to be quite good, quite warm, not too hot. I recommend uh, don't pack too many things because sometimes I have travelers and came with huge luggage. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, you need something to come by if you miss something, you know, but uh, don't think that you're going, you know, for one month trip is a 10 day trip and you don't need many things. And yeah, uh, bring all your energy because it's, gonna, it's a great, great trip. Excellent. Okay, so. Um... Just a little more information for people who are interested in the trip. Um, there's a deadline to sign up by January 31st. We have um, a few spots left, but it is a small tour. There's a maximum of 14 people, I believe. Um, so it's, uh, there's only a few spots left. The deposit for this is only $250, so it's real easy to sign up, and it doesn't, uh, it's not a, a lot to commit to it. It's a lifetime deposit, so if you need to cancel for any reason, which we definitely don't want you to, but things come up, you can use it to apply to another trip in the future. Um, and then if you sign up by next week, Friday, Devin is, has got a G Adventures t-shirt and luggage tags that she's going to give uh, to anybody who signs up by Friday. Yeah. You will get those sent out to everyone who signed up by the 31st. And their t-shirts are... Um, they're good t-shirts. They're fun. They're not uh, boring old t-shirts. <laughs> oh, there's one. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, okay. I've got the link to the trip in the title of uh, the Facebook Live. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me, R-E-N-E, -E, at Grand Explorations. Uh, I'd love to have you on the trip with us. And um, that's it for now. So thank you, Devin. Thank you, Lalo. Really appreciate you taking some time out to answer questions that people have had about this trip and uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks, Renee. Hope yep. to see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> ciao, ciao.